My father was born in 1933, so he uh, lived the post-war energy uh, on the 50s. He started to study uh, at the art school in Helsinki as a young, maybe third grade designer. He won a competition and that was the starting point uh, for his career. From that competition onwards, he has been designing chairs for Finland. So his career has been uh, going on almost 70 years now. My father has been concentrating on human body. His uh, starting point for all designs is uh, human body and uh, the needs for that. So he's saying that uh, the visuality follows the function in his designs, but the human body is the starting point. And that's why uh, they are also quite comfortable to sit on, most of them. <laughs> he has been uh, working with architects a lot. Kind of a visual look is also very important. He has been designing series that has started from one chair, possibly. That has been his joy. It's like music. He's repeating his theme all the time. There is an item and then there is this kind of a variation coming out. So almost every tenth year he has changed his uh, style and uh, his talk of the, the, the time has been very important for him. Odd enough, sustainability as we now understand it today, it has been quite important for Yuri Kukkapuro throughout his career. He has always wanted to be very conscious in materials and uh, designing furniture that last for decades and last for the next generation. That has been his one leading uh, philosophical idea and also, sometimes he has been even thinking about the packaging, how to pack them um, efficiently, not to deliver air, but only the items and chairs. Sustainability comes naturally to him. Even more now, today, he has been thinking about it consciously. Beginning from the 90s, he has been very thoughtful about this. If you just... Um, make a chair out of tubular steel, it's kind of a dull, then why not combine some warmth with wood and uh, then again the upholstery makes it comfortable. Well, it's again the functionality. For example, Remy chair, it combines from two different compartments. It's, there is this uh, like a skelet of a steel frame and on that there is this very comfortable upholstery part. Neither of them is nothing without each other. It's like a human body. You have something there the, that keeps you up and then you have this soft part on the top of it. Uh, Yuri Kukkapur often says that physio chair is his favorite. Physio and uh, circus chairs are the same breed. They follow the human body somehow. But saying this, he is uh, returning to Caruselli chair and he is often saying that he has to admit that chair is his uh, kind of a best creation. He's a typical Finnish personality. He is uh, very shy and he's very uh, kind of uh, humble and he thinks that it's something that just happened to him and he has been just working. If somebody respects that, it's okay and he's very happy for it, but uh, he would have done it anyway. That's his passion also, to create. He is a man of chairs, definitely. He has been designing like 130 models in his, during his life, if we uh, count all the, also the unique pieces in that. But he loves also lightnings. He has been designing lightnings, which are something that he loves a lot. He loves uh, play with light and shadow. So it's something, a little bit something that people doesn't know about him. But he has been always um, finding it kind of a mysterious thing. Tabletops has come like uh, some kind of a must-have object because sometimes in the interior designs you need something to put your things on. Lamps and, and chairs are his favorite, generally speaking. <laughs> Can I uh, say something about this exhibition here where we are sitting today because uh, 
This is a very special occasion. We have a kind of an honor and a joy to stay in this beautiful house, in this uh, concrete, brutalist uh, environment, which is, suits very well with my father's designs. Yuri Kukkapuro, uh, in his minimalist uh, design, among this um, Klaus Hapaniem is uh, quite colorful, almost pre raphaelite uh, fairy tale look. They fit together surprisingly well. I was a little bit, I didn't know because I have just seen a few pictures from this. And when we arrived here with our chairs and things, I was, like, I was so happy because they support each other as well. So this is a great occasion and I'm so happy that it turned out so well.